Well, might be a bit close there. Welcome back, my fantastic friends and coin collectors. It's me, Master Temple. I'm just having a play around with my Zoom. My Zoom -y stuff. Now, what I've got to show you today, folks, that looks a bit better, doesn't it? What I've got to show you today is I've got 25 coins I picked up from a little, a little shop when I was away in Norfolk on my travels. And I picked them up. Big box, basically, a big box of coins. And in there you could pick out several coins for a, for a couple of quid. I got 25 for about £3.50, something like that. I'll quickly rattle through them because I don't want it to take too long to show to show you all. But I'm sure you'll find it interesting if you're a coin lover. And what we've got here, first off, Iris Pingin from 1948. And this is made out of bronze and it's 4.8 million of them minted. You can see we've got the Celtic harp there. Celtic harp there. And come back in the middle. I can assure you guys this is not my paint on, on the coin. <laughs> I promise you that. But yeah, pretty good mistake, but I like the chicken and the chicks. Sticking with Ireland. Again, we've got the Celtic harp from 1928. This is a nickel coin. And we've got what looks like a whippet on the uh, on the coin. It says six six uh, D six P six pigeon, and it's a, a real. I think that's how you pronounce it. I can barely spe speak English sometimes. <laughs> right, warmer climates, warmer climates. Cinco Centimos. This is from Spain, and I got this one pretty old, 198, sorry, 1877. And this is from Alfonso the Twelfth's period. It's got for the grace of God around the side, and on the back here we've got the emblem, the Spanish royal emblem, Cinco Centimos. And the mintage figures on this are 34.3 million. Now look at this one. Looks like a 20p, doesn't it? And I thought it was at first. I thought, ah, that's an unusual I ain't got. But it's not 20p. It's uh, 50 fills from the United Arab Emirates. And the date on it is 1998, though. It's in, it's in Arabic down at the bottom. And we can see three derricks there, which I used to pump oil out of the ground which this region is, is is world famous for I think it's an aluminium coin very nice minted figure wise couldn't find any for that one I couldn't find any now let's get over to Belgium another old coin I liked I picked up 1904 from Belgium, it's got an hole in it, so one would say it's a washer. <laughs> and it's a, a 10, 10 centimes, something along those lines. Copper nickel, King Leopold II. The star is this could tell, folks. The star is this could tell. And there's 16, just over 16 million on that one. Now look at this one. This looks really old and, and and seen some more action. And we've got Portugal. And we, on him, we've got King Louis the first, and it's ten reals. It's made out of bronze. And it's King Louis, uh, King, King Louis the first. Um, he reigned Portugal from 1882 to 1880, 86, I think, if my notes are correct. It seems bent, it seems seems like it's been hit by something in the middle, right on his bumps. And it's got a bit of damage there. Where you can see olive branches and what look like oak branches on this side. Pretty good stuff. I like interesting old coins. Yeah. And I can't find the mintage figures for that one. They're mixed in with the 1882s apparently. Right, got two of the same different days very interesting 
These were the first coins I actually picked out of the box. And then Napoleon III, he was emperor, wasn't he, of, of uh, the French Empire. And this is 1862, we can see down there, I can just pick out the date. 62, not sure on this one. Not too sure. And these are, these are 10 centimes. And you can tell that, I mean, it's, it, it's really worn down here, where it would have it stated in text. But the size, the, the images are very similar throughout the small occurrences. It's just the size. And I think, I think there may be about 15 million on, on these mintage figures wise. But very interesting. And the wars and the action that those would have seen. Oh, epic. If they could speak, if a coin could speak, say a thousand words quite quickly, wouldn't it? Okay, German. 1991. This is five Deutsche Marks. It's a... It's a copper nickel coin. I picked this one up because it's pretty big. And uh, it's got an edge inscription as well, which intrigued me. The edge inscription, obviously, it's in, it's in German. But it basically translates as unity, justice, and freedom around the edge. And the mintage figures for these ones are eight, oh, sorry, 18 million. And if you see here, just, uh, just above the date, we've got an A for a different mint they've got different mints in Germany and I think A represents Berlin oh, I could be a million miles off <laughs> right let's get uh, let's get a small little coin I I was I found this one and I quite quite like the design of it and it's brass and it's from the Philippines and if you look on this side we have the bust of of Juan Luna. He must have been an important figure in the Philippines at some point. 1985. 85 million of these little babies. And on this side, this is what attracted me to the coin. We've got a little butterfly. Now this butterfly, now let me get this right. Graphium Ideodes. This butterfly, is a, that gets a round of applause surely. Graphium Ideodes. This is this butterfly is epidemic, uh, sorry, e endemic, <laughs> endemic to the Philippines and mimics a toxic butterfly, uh, that, which is the, which is very similar to how our little hoverfly mimics a, a wasp, I suppose. It protects it from predators. But yeah, very very nice. I like that. Brass little coin. Get him over there. Now we've got a, a two tone coin. I thought this was absolutely stunning, and I'm sure I've seen it on some of the some of the guys' world coins before. Very nice. It's uh, it's brass plated uh, brass plated steel for the in internal parts of the uh, the coin, and copper plated steel for the external uh, part of the coin, the external ring of the coin. And what we've got here is a Czechoslovakian, oh, sorry, Czech Republic, sorry. Czech Republic, 50 Korun, if I've got that right. And we can see the denomination down there. We've got the date there, which is 1993, and then tiny, 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 teeny, tiny mint mark up there. And we've got a, a crowned lion, the Czech crowned lion. And on this side we've got the Prague, the Prague skyline with the Charles Bridge and the nice St. Vitus Cathedral in the background. Mintage figure wise, 35 million of those. And the last worldly coin one, even though we've got some more that are from around the territories, is a Maltese one, a Malta one. This is 10 cents, a copper nickel coin. Unknown mintage figures for this one. But the, the fish on the back attracted me to it. It's a dolphin fish or a dorado. And if you've seen these fish in the in, in real life, they're absolutely stunning. Multicolored fish, the game fish. So that's why we, we picked this little belter up. Okay, so that is the 
what, what do we get? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. 12 worldly coins. Let's have a look at some territory coins and uh, and some British coins as well. And first off, first off, what the world, where are they? There we go. We have got Cyprus. We're in Cyprus here. We've got two from Cyprus. Let's show you the, the Queen first. Because this is the bust created by Cecil Thomas and that's used throughout the realm basically for uh, several different uh, several different regions coins and it's a young bust of the of the Queen it was in 1955 pretty early into her reign and this is uh, from the government of Cyprus five mills 1955 and on this side we see an old man old stone age iron age man bronze age man even uh, holding a bar of copper and if you look closely at this copper it looks like it's been been dinked out for some some coins maybe I don't know then there's 10 million of those 10 million of those now the other Cyprus one is a copper nickel coin this one's 28.5 million diameter and we see the Cecil Thomas bust of Queen Elizabeth II there and on this side we've got a boat, it's an ancient boat, an old boat. And this is 100 mils from 1955, same year again. And there were 2.5 million of these minted, however, well over half a million got returned back to the Royal Mint and melted down in 1967. What came out in 1968? Old 10p's, well old new 10 pies. So maybe a bit of something to think about there. All right. Here we go again. Can you see that? Does it get a bit closer to you? There we go. Really windy today, folks, if you can hear the wind. Now, this is a lovely, sweet little coin. Looks in very nice condition as well. It's from Mauritius. It's a quarter rupee. 1978. And if we have a look on here, we've got the Tudor Rose, we've got a crown, we've got a lotus flower, and we've got a fleur de lis. I've got fleur de luce, which is very similar to a lily. Quarter rupee, and this has a mintage figure of 8.8 .8 million. But it's a very sweet little coin. Now a familiar portrait there of the Queen, Queen Elizabeth II. But what we've got is got one, Hong Kong dollar and on this side we can see the oriental lion crowned standing upright and the date down there 1979 and the, uh, the size of it is 25.5 million diameter and uh, the mintage figure wise is, is an eye water 105 million So here we go, now we're on familiar territory, 1992, Isle of Man, these crop up from time to time, and what we've got, Isle of Man 10 pence, we've got the Triskillian in the middle, and we've got some Manx language around the outside, on this side, we've got again, the Triskillians down there. Can't find a mintage figure for that one. Unknown mintage figure. Right, so let's get into some, uh, some a couple of British coins that I picked up. Here, let's zoom out a little bit. So I've got three. And we've got new pence, five pence, and another new pence, so they go together. These two are from 1972, and we've seen these Hundreds and hundreds of times, it's an old 10 pence, an old size 10 pence, an old size 5 pence, and an old size 5 pence, which has got 5 pence written on the uh, on the front. We obviously know this is Ironside's crowned thistle and crowned lion. But they're looking really nice, apart from being toned, they haven't got the scuff marks of circulation. I mean, it's heavily toned, uh, but, but it's... It, it, saw these I thought well these look like could have been out of a set and they were 1972 
both the 1972s, they have got like 150,000, and I think they were just in sets. And the 1983, 631,000. So none of them intended for for general release into the wild. And I like them. I like them. Right, let's get over to. Uh, I think we've got Jersey. That's it. I do get confused with Jersey and Guernsey. Me giz and me jizz. 1983. And what we have on there, the Ballywick or Bailiwick of Jersey. Two pence. And this is the Hermitage at St. Elia. It looks pretty pretty good with all this muck that's been rubbed into it over the over the years. 800,000 of those little uh, little beauties, so that's very nice. And we've got the same place. Sweet little coin. Sweet little coin. But what we have is a five pence, and we've got a sandcastle on there. <laughs> no, it's not a sandcastle. I'm only kidding the folks. It's the, uh, the offshore defence of Seymour Tower. Very nice, and four million of those little five peas. Right, very similar coin. We've only got a couple of left. Thanks for bearing with me on this. But it's a very similar little coin. It is um, Queen Elizabeth. You see the old Cecil Thomas portrait on there. And it's the British Caribbean Territories Eastern Group. And on here, we've got a little boat. And that boat, that boat was Fan Sir Francis Drake's ship, the Golden Hind. And Francis Drake lived from, from 1542 to 1596. And he was a, a bit of a British explorer. Sort of kind of guy. He did a lot of other things as well. But yeah, very nice. Vintage figure, 3.2 million. Very sweet little coin. 19, did I give you a date? 1965. It's hard to pick up. Let's see if we can let's see if we can get maximum zoom. Here we go. Whoa, look at that. So 1965. Yeah. Just just there. Down at the bottom. This is my little sword. I don't know if you can read that. Toledo! <laughs> we need Ole putting on this side, don't we? A little cocktail stick star thing, whatever it is. Right, last two coins, so we stay zoomed in, maximum zoomage. Let's move out a bit before his eyes goes, before we start squinting like, uh, like Tom Kitten. Right, New Penny, 1971. Where is it from? It's from Guernsey. And we can see on here, Three leopards and a sprig of uh, foliage at the top on this shield. And on this side, we've got a dicky birdie. We've got a northern gannet in flight. The gannet is a seabird and it's renowned for eating anything that comes its way. Little gannet. 1971. Mintage figure wise for this bronze coin is 1.9 million now the last coin i've got very intriguing because it's a different shape it's a square one and it's a nickel brass coin so it's got a goldy tint to it and it's from ceylon ceylon now ceylon over the years i had dutch and portuguese um influences and, it, and it's, it's what is now modern day Sri Lanka. It is now what is modern day Sri Lanka. But it became under the British rule in during the Na Napoleonic Wars. Very, very interesting. Well, we've got five. We've got five cents. So this is this is the wording for the island, and this is the wording. For the uh, denomination, and we've got the date there, 1945, five cents, and the uh, the English for the country. And Sri Lanka is still part of the Commonwealth, though it's a re it's a republic now. 
But yeah, very interesting. 31.1 million of these little beauties were minted, which is which is quite nice. I always like the portraits of, of our monarchs with the, with the crowns on. If you can see, they're pretty, pretty cool. And they always face the opposite way. So when Charlie comes along, he'll face the same way as his granddad. And when William takes over in many, many years time, he'll face the same way as his, his granny. Okay. Let's leave it there, folks. If you like this, please let me know. It's something a bit different than what I usually do, but I thought I'd better share it with you. So until next time, do stay safe. Take care, my fantastic friends. And see you all later. Happy days.